Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to discuss complementary events. But more than complementary events, we're going to discuss the concept of not. In other words, if I say not a. Now how it is symbolized is an a with a little line on top. So that means a and with the line it means not. So not a. Now in grade 10, you had done the following rule. You had done that a complementary event is where PA plus PB is equal to 1. Now if you do that, if I had that PA is 0, 0,8 plus PB is 0, 0,2 is equal to 1, then immediately you can tell me, but what is not PA? Not PA would equal to 1 minus 0, 0,8, which is equal to 0, 0,2. So instead of now looking for what PA was, you could look at everything that is not PA. What was not PA? P of B was actually not PA. Can you see? So if I said, what is P of not A? You could have just looked at everything that's not A, which was 0, 0,2 without doing a calculation. Now, when we're doing these events, you had previously learned that we, we work with complementary events, where the two have to be exclusive, they don't need to touch, and they have to equal to one. So basically, there is no space. There is no, there is no events or no numbering that is outside of the two circles. But now, when we're working with the concept of not A, even though we are still using the complementary event, we are using it slightly different. Based on the concept that if I take out what I am discussing, then one minus that would be everything else. So let's say I had an A and a B and then I had 5, and yeah, I had 10, 12, and yeah, I had 11. Now, if I wanted the P of A and B, you would tell me the total is 10, 15, 27, 28, 38. The total is 38. The P of A and B would be 5 over 38. Can you see? Because that is where it overlaps. But what if I ask you, what is the probability of not A and not B? Now, not A and not B is everything else besides P of A and B. It's everything else besides P of A and B. So that is where we start using the concept where we can subtract. 1 represents everything else. If I subtract P, A and B, I would have my answer. So when I say 1 minus P of A and B, then I've got everything that is not P of A and B, which is 33 over 38. Let us see if that is true. What is 10 plus 11 plus 12? 10 plus 11 plus 12. So it's the three that are not part of B and A. And you'd still get 33. So when we're working with the not, we're going to still use the complementary rule that says PA plus PB is equal to 1. What we're doing is we're slightly changing it. Our rule now that we're using is PA plus P of not A is equal to 1. So the probability of A plus the probability of what's not A is always equal to 1. When you're using this rule at this level, we are not worried if they complement events or not. Remember, there is information that you should know from your grade 10 work. So make sure you understand that before coming to this section. Now let us take the following example. We have a bag that has two green balls, five red balls, four pink balls, 
and 4 blue balls. So what is our total? Our total is 2 plus 5 plus 4 plus 4, which is equal to 15. So event 1 is getting a red ball. Now if I want the probability of event 1, then it means getting a red ball. What's a red ball? 5. Over how many do I have? 15. So the probability of getting a red ball is 5 over 15. What is the probability of not getting a red ball? So it would be, we know that the probability of getting a red ball plus the probability of not getting a red ball is going to equal to 1. If you already have the probability of E, then the probability of not getting a red ball would be 1 minus 5 over 15, which is equal to 10 over 15. And if you look, let's count the ones that are not red balls. 2 plus 4 plus 4, which is equal to 10 over 15. Now, you would notice when I'm doing the probability, I don't simplify. I don't say 1 over 3. Usually, they would give you the entire mark for writing 1 over 3. But the probability is a total based on how many you actually have. So when you say 1 over 3, you could be implying that there's only 3 choices or there's only 3 balls, which is not correct. So a simplified version is an equal ratio and an equal proportion, but it's not actually the probability. The probability is 5 out of 15 choices, not 1 out of 3 choices. Now let us take the following example. Okay, we had done this one before where we had discussed the learners were playing soccer, netball and cricket. Okay, now we are working with the exact same Venn diagram. I'm just going to show you how besides the standard probability that we've already done, how the, ch the questions can change slightly. Right, if you look, they say calculate the probability that a learner chooses at random cricket, soccer or netball. Now that means I could take any one of them. I could take the entire or means I'm taking all three. So in order to get that, if I have to say the probability of the learner choosing at random soccer, cricket or netball, then I'd have to say, okay, so I want the probability of soccer or cricket or netball, which is equal to, now I have to take everyone, 10 plus my 130 plus my 37 plus my 90, plus my 8, plus my 15. Now, if you total that, you're going to get 290. And we know probability has to be over 300. But what if we said, what is the probability of not playing anything? So no sport, not S, nor C, nor N. What is the probability of not playing any of them? It would be 10 over 300. So if I wanted the probability of playing soccer or netball or cricket, I could say what is the probability of not playing soccer or cricket or netball because that was easy. That was one value. That is 10 over 300. Then I know the probability of what I want minus plus the probability of what I don't want is equal to 1. So if I wanted the probability of A, which is soccer, cricket or netball, I'm going to say 1 minus 10 over 300. And look, we'd end up with the same answer. So when you're doing the not, it can help you to do the probabilities of sums that are large by simply eliminating that specific one. Right, now if I say, calculate the probability that a learner chooses neither any sport. So there you have it already. It is 10 over 300. And calculate the probability not playing all three sports. Now look, when we say not playing all three sports, this is now a, I would say a devious question. Not playing all three sports means you're playing one sport there, you're playing two sports, you're playing two sports, you're playing one sport, you're playing two sports, you're playing no sports. But not playing 
all three which means now whatever I've got in yellow there I need to add it so I have to say 10 plus 10 plus 90 plus 130 plus 8 plus 15 which equals to 263 remember if they want the probability then it must be over 300 but an easier way would have been to say okay what is the probability of them playing all three spots all three spots is 37 all three spots is simply 37 so if I want the probability of not playing all three spots it will be 1 minus 37 which is equal to 263 over 300 this helps you in not doing long sums and simply getting to the answer faster thank you for watching